in the nostalgic realm of vintage television, where black and white hues dance with the charm of yesteryears. One series stands as a timeless beacon of family warmth and life's everyday adventures. Father knows best. Cast your mind back to that first serendipitous encounter with the show, perhaps as a late-night flicker on your grandmother's ancient set or a cherished afternoon bonding ritual with your parents. The essence of a bygone era enveloped you as the Anderson family's relatable dynamics whisked you away to a suburban universe where life's conundrums found their heartwarming resolutions. Can you recall the laughter that bubbled forth during those quintessential family discussions at the dinner table? Or the way you clung to each character's quirks, seeing fragments of your own existence in their stories. Now, as we venture deeper into the folds of memory, let's uncover some delightful tidbits about the show that left an indelible mark on our hearts. From surprising casting decisions to the whispers of behind-the-scenes anecdotes, these random facts unveil a new layer of appreciation for the show that was, and still remains, a cherished window into the past. So, dear traveler of nostalgia, prepare to journey through the annals of Father Knows Best lore, where tales of innocence, life lessons, and genuine laughter await your curious heart. As the curtain rises on these revelations, remember that the magic of storytelling transcends time, uniting us all in the tapestry of human experience. And now, without further ado, let's step into the realm of random facts about this beloved series, where sepia-tinted memories and trivia intertwine in a dance of intrigue and sentimentality. Father Knows Best, a 1954 TV series, revolves around the Anderson family and their suburban life. Created by Ed James, the show originated on radio before making its transition to television. It follows the daily life and challenges faced by Jim and Margaret Anderson as they navigate parenting and family dynamics. The iconic characters include the wise and understanding father, Jim, the nurturing and caring mother, Margaret, their three children, Betty, Bud, and Kathy, each representing a distinct stage of growing up. The show's unique style lies in its portrayal of the idealized American family, emphasizing moral lessons and showcasing the importance of communication and understanding among family members. It stood out for its wholesome and optimistic depiction of post-World War II family life, which resonated with audiences of the time. Father Knows Best left a significant impact on popular culture, influencing subsequent family-oriented sitcoms and reinforcing traditional family values. In the early 1950s, Father Knows Best faced initial challenges with low ratings. However, the show's move to NBC and a change in format led to its rise in popularity. The series continued to evolve, reflecting the changing societal norms and concerns of the era. The Anderson family's relatable experiences and heartwarming moments contributed to its enduring appeal. Random facts about the show, the show's main character, Jim Anderson, was portrayed by two actors, Robert Young on radio and television, and Robert Youngson in the 1949 film adaptation. The show was praised for addressing topical issues such as the generation gap and women's roles in society. Father Knows Best was briefly revived in the 1970s with a TV movie, and a short-lived sequel series. The show's catchphrase, you're in big trouble, young lady, young man, became iconic. In conclusion, Father Knows Best holds a special place in TV history for its portrayal of a loving and harmonious family while navigating the challenges of everyday life. Its impact on shaping the portrayal of family dynamics on television remains enduring, making it a timeless classic. Blondie Street, from Blondie to Genie, a TV icon's many facades in the golden age of television, the American living room played host to beloved families, and none more cherished than the Andersons of Father Knows Best. But did you know that their iconic abode had a storied past of its own? Nestled on a Hollywood backlot, the Anderson House, a focal point of the show's warmth, was no stranger to the camera's gaze. Originally, the house was inhabited by none other than Blondie and Dagwood Bumstead of the Blondie film series from the 30 seconds and 40 seconds. The house's rich history wasn't limited to one fictional family, as it went on to star in an impressive array of roles. It wore the skin of Dennis' irritable neighbor, Mr. Wilson, in the 59 sitcom Dennis the Menace. Later still, it transformed into the home of Tony Nelson in the whimsical 60-second sitcom, I Dream of Jeannie. This famous facade held more secrets within its walls, as it also served as the backdrop for other notable TV families. 
Wander along Blondie Street and you'll find the homes from Bewitched, the Donna Reed Show, Hazel, Gidget, and the Partridge Family. This unassuming street became a living museum of television's most cherished dwellings. But the connections don't stop there. A trio of actors, Herbert Anderson, Sylvia Field, and Gloria Henry, who all had supporting roles in Father Knows Best, later found themselves as central cast members in Dennis the Menace. These performers seamlessly traversed the boundaries of these two quintessential family shows, leaving an indelible mark on television history. As you revisit the classic episodes of Father Knows Best, let your gaze linger on the Anderson house, the heart of a suburban dream that transcended time and screen. Its walls held the laughter, love, and life of generations of television families. So when you catch a glimpse of that familiar porch, remember, it's more than just a house. It's a witness to the stories that shaped an era. One of the classic sitcoms of the 1950s, Father Knows Best, has maintained its place in television history. However, an unsettling fact persists. Over its span of more than 200 episodes, not a single black person is seen. As the Anderson family navigated the trials and triumphs of suburban life, the absence of racial diversity was stark. The show, praised for its portrayal of traditional family values, seemed to exist in a homogenous bubble overlooking the complex realities of the era. Betty, Bud, and Kathy, the Anderson children, became household names, their youthful escapades enduring them to viewers. Curiously, they appeared to defy the passage of time during the show's first season. As Betty matured at 17, Bud at 14, and Kathy at 8, their ages remained untouched by the seasons that passed. This peculiar decision to suspend their growth created a sense of continuity that echoed the show's idyllic portrayal of family life. Yet, even as the Anderson family played out their relatable dramas, a historic moment cast a long shadow over their world. On November 22, 1963, when New Yorkers tuned into WABC-TV, a rerun of Father Knows Best, Man About Town was abruptly interrupted. The shocking news of John F. Kennedy's assassination demanded attention, relegating the Andersons to a temporary backdrop as real-world events took precedence. In revisiting Father Knows Best, it's essential to confront both its charm and its shortcomings. The show encapsulated a certain cultural nostalgia, reflecting the values of its time. Still, the absence of racial diversity reminds us of the limitations of that era's entertainment industry. As television evolves, let us remember and learn from the past, embracing the diverse realities that shape our world today. At the heart of the 1954 TV series Father Knows Best lies a captivating tale that intertwines Hollywood's glitz with the charm of a classic family sitcom. Delving into the show's history, we uncover a remarkable nugget that adds a touch of star-studded allure to the show's legacy. In a heartwarming reunion and a special holiday episode titled Father Knows Best, Home for Christmas, the character of Ellen, one of Betty's young daughters, took on a new life as portrayed by none other than Kyle Richards. Yes, the very same Kyle Richards who would later become a recognizable face on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. In an unexpected twist, Richards graced the screen as a part of the Father Knows Best universe, showcasing her talent even in her early years. But that's not all that adds intrigue to this iconic series. Eleanor Donahue, who portrayed the role of a 17-year-old daughter on the show, carried a hidden layer of complexity behind her character's youthful facade. Unbeknownst to many viewers at the time, Donahue was already married and a mother in real life. Her portrayal of a teenager took on a new light when juxtaposed with her own life experiences, making her performance all the more remarkable. The journey of Father Knows Best began on the radio waves in 1949, before making its grand transition to television. With Eugene B. Rodney at the helm of production and Robert Young as the star, the show embarked on a six-year run that included original episodes airing on both NBC and CBS. Even after its initial run, the show's charm continued to captivate audiences, with CBS and later ABC airing reruns well into 1967. As we delve into the annals of television history, these fascinating details shed light on the multifaceted nature of Father Knows Best. From unexpected guest stars to the nuanced lives of its cast members, the show's legacy is a tapestry woven with both Hollywood glamour and real-life complexity. A true testament to the timeless allure of family sitcoms, Father Knows Best remains an indelible chapter in television history. 
the NBC radio series of Father Knows Best underwent a remarkable transformation when it made the leap to television in 1954. While the radio version portrayed Jim Anderson as somewhat clumsy and slow-witted, often stumbling into embarrassing situations, the TV adaptation presented a starkly different patriarch. Jim Anderson emerged as a sage figure, dispensing wisdom while making significantly fewer blunders than his radio counterpart. This shift not only altered the character's trajectory, but also tapped into the changing dynamics of the American family in the mid-20th century. This evolution showcased the adaptability of the show's creators and their keen awareness of the shifting cultural landscape. On radio, Jim's comedic missteps resonated with a different audience, while on television, the portrayal of a wiser and more composed father figure mirrored the societal transition towards more stable family roles. The reimagined Jim Anderson became an emblem of paternal guidance, resonating with viewers across the nation. The show's success was further highlighted by the endearing nicknames Jim had for his daughters. For his daughter Betty, he affectionately used the term princess, underscoring the cherished bond between father and child. Similarly, his endearing nickname for Kathy, Kitten, added a layer of warmth and familiarity to their interactions. As the years went on, Father Knows Best became a cultural touchstone, etching its characters and their values into the collective consciousness. And as a testament to Jim Anderson's enduring appeal, he was honored with the rank of six on TV Guide's list of the 50 greatest TV dads of all time. This recognition not only highlighted the impact of the show, but also cemented Jim Anderson's legacy as a paragon of fatherly wisdom and guidance. In the transition from radio to television, Father Knows Best carved a unique space in the realm of family sitcoms, shaping characters and relationships that still resonate today. It stands as a testament to the power of adaptation and the ability to capture the essence of an era while reflecting its evolving sensibilities. As the curtain falls on our journey through the nostalgic realms of the 1954 TV series, Father Knows Best, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of memory and emotion. Just like the show's heartwarming tales, our own lives are woven with moments of tenderness, humor, and valuable life lessons. Whether you're drawn to the wit of Jim Anderson, the warmth of Margaret, or the endearing escapades of Betty, Bud, and Kathy, this series has a way of resonating across generations. Take a moment to reflect on the cozy glow of those black and white scenes, where laughter echoed through the living room, and life's dilemmas found their solutions over a cup of coffee. Let your mind wander through your own personal tapestry of connections to Father Knows Best. Maybe it was a shared viewing experience with your family, a lesson learned that still guides you today, or even a character whose journey mirrored your own in unexpected ways. We invite you to share your cherished memories and thoughts, to open the doors of nostalgia and let the stories flow. Your perspective, your recollections, they all add a new layer to the beautiful mosaic of affection for this timeless show. Like the Andersons, we all navigate the tapestry of life, and in doing so, we find solace, wisdom, and laughter. Thank you for joining us in this exploration down memory lane, where the echoes of Father Knows Best still whisper through time, reminding us of the enduring bond between the past and the present. Your time and interest are treasured, and your stories, the threads that weave the fabric of this journey. Warmly, your name.